Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Mike Formby, and I'm the director of the Department of Transportation Services with the City and County of Honolulu, and I want to welcome everyone to the Honolulu Traffic Management Center. I'm joined today by Carolee Kubo. She's the director of the Department of Human Resources and also the Honolulu Police Department, specifically Assistant Chief Clayton Cow and Traffic Division Head Major Calvin Tong. I think you're all aware that Governor David Ige reached out to the Honolulu Mayor Kirk Caldwell this morning requesting the city work with the state in providing work time flexibility to city employees in an effort to relieve afternoon traffic congestion. Prior to the governor's press conference, the mayor had already reached out to city agencies, the Board of Water Supply, and HART, asking them to mitigate road work this afternoon and tonight. To that end, I wanted to announce the changes that will be made. First, the Board of Water Supply. The Board of Water Supply has canceled today's lane closures for the water system improvement project on Capulani Boulevard in the McCulley area. The Department of Design and Construction suspended rehabilitation of Streets Unit 66. The contractor was currently on Kapahulu Avenue. For the Department of Environmental Services, they canceled today's lane closure on Kamehameha Highway fronting Blaisdell Park for the Waimalu Sewer Project. And finally, for HART, the Honolulu Authority for Rapid Transportation, Today, there will be no rail-related closures on Kamehameha Highway in the westbound direction. Starting at 3 p.m., there will be no rail-related lane closures on Kamehameha Highway in either direction. So at this time, I'd like to invite Director Kubo up to tell you about the work flexibility policy for today. As you all know, the zip mobile breakdown caused a lot of gridlock yesterday. So as Director Formby said, the mayor is granting administrative leave to city employees to avoid the gridlock. Department directors and deputies will be sent a memo shortly and they are charged with administering the administrative leave for their employees. Any offices that service the public shall be open till 4.30 today and any employee who is on scheduled vacation or any type of approved leave shall not be granted equivalent leave at a later date. Hourly paid employees and those on suspension or leave without pay are not entitled to administrative leave. The mayor will declare at approximately 5 p.m. our intentions for tomorrow should the zip mobile not be repaired. If you have any questions, please call your labor relations specialist at the Department of Human Resources. Thank you. Thank you, Carolee. Now I would like to invite Chief Cal up to talk about the assistance that HPD will be providing motorists today. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Director Formby. Aloha, Assistant Chief Clayton Cow. I'm uh, assigned to the Central Patrol Bureau. Uh, the Honolulu Police Department will be assisting with the traffic, monitoring traffic to ease the congestion that we've seen, uh, especially yesterday. Basically, what we'll be doing is we'll be assigning officers to specific locations or intersections as they head out to the west side of the island. Uh, the intent of the officers being signed to these locations to ensure that the intersections are not being blocked. We want to make sure that the intersections are cleared so that the traffic will continue to flow. As far as the officers entering the intersection to direct traffic, they won't be entering the intersections. We'll allow the traffic lights to continue to handle the control of uh, allowing the flow of traffic. Uh, if there is a problem in the intersection, of course the officers will enter the intersection, clear the intersection, and ensure that traffic once again can move uh, smoothly. Uh, we, what we'd like to ask, we'd like to ask the motorists for their patience. If they do get into a motor vehicle accident, so they do experience any type of mechanical failure or difficult, difficulty with their cars, we'd like them to pull off to the side of the road and allow the cars to, uh, the traffic to continue to move smoothly. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Chief Cal. So on behalf of Mayor Caldwell, we do want to thank the governor for reaching out to the mayor. We know that it takes a cooperative effort between the city and county and the state of Hawaii to really relieve traffic congestion. And at this time, we'll open it up to any questions that you might have for any of us. So we were told by several people who were stuck in traffic completely stopped that several police officers were actually walking through traffic and giving them tickets, $300 citations for being on the phone. Can you respond to that? Yes, ma'am. Um, at the time this was occurring, uh, 
and this was early in the afternoon, the officers were uh, uh, taking enforcement action in the area. Uh, and that was the intent was to prevent any type of motor vehicle collisions. Uh, at the time when they were doing that, they weren't aware of the traffic uh, problem. When they were notified, at that point, they ceased enforcement action. As far as uh, if we were to uh, condition uh, any enforcement action being taken today, uh, the officers will be asked to use their, their discretion. If there is uh, a traffic violation or we need to take any type of uh, enforcement action, we'll be asking them, use your discretion. If it requires some type of enforcement action, they'll take appropriate action. Uh, we can't just ignore any type of uh, violation. Uh, once again, I want to ask the public to please obey all the traffic laws. What time did you cease writing those tickets? Because some of these people said they were stopped calling saying, you know, I'm running out of gas or sure. pick up my kids because I'm going to be hours late. I, my understanding is uh, sometime maybe in the neighborhood of uh, between 5 and 6 o'clock. So at that point, traffic was stopped though, correct? Yes. My understanding, traffic was, uh, had, uh, the congestion had gotten pretty bad at that point. Chief, you can understand why some of our viewers... I understand that. I understand that, yes. At 5 o'clock yesterday afternoon, or maybe shortly before that, the mayor called me, and, uh, and we talked about his telephone call to Chief Kealoha, asking the chief to make sure that HPD helped us get officers out at the intersections. And that's primarily to stop the people that like to block or make illegal turns and facilitate the cross traffic. We, we never intended to turn over the signalization because as Tai Fukumitsu can tell you, from this vantage point, they see all the way down the corridors and they keep the traffic signals time to move the traffic down. When you put the HPD officers on the intersection and you allow them to control it, we go to blinking lights. They don't have the ability to control traffic down the corridor. And so they're really here, and that's what they're going to be doing tomorrow. And as long as this situation continues, they're here to really facilitate, let the public know that we are out there, that we are responsive, that we're doing our very best. But from inside this traffic management center, the DTS engineers are doing everything they can to make sure the traffic signals facilitate the smooth flow of traffic. And we do that working with the State Department of Transportation as well. And Director, what are the main corridors that uh, traffic signals are being uh, synchronized? Well, they, they did on many, many yesterday afternoon. I mean, if you, I, I was up in my office looking downtown, and downtown was gridlocked because many people were trying to find a way to get to Nimitz Highway so they could enter the zip lane. So the, the entire downtown area was, was in gridlock. So they were actually adjusting signal timings all over the island but specifically Kamehameha Highway for sure, and Moana Lua as well. So it's, it's really, they sit here when they see excessive queuing of vehicles and they do what they can to move traffic. But right now, for anybody that wants to spend five minutes before they get on the road and look at Goakamai and see what the traffic congestion is like, they can look at the traffic cameras and then they make informed decisions whether they want to get on the freeway, get on Kamehameha Highway, or maybe do something in town before they head out. So there's, there's a lot, and the truth is, when, when the capacity of a street or a highway is compromised by the closure of lanes, you're never going to get to perfect. But what we try to do is manage it in a way that it's as good as possible. And HPD is critical, HDOT is critical, and the promise that we're making to you is that we're going to communicate earlier, sooner, and more effectively. And Goakamai is such a good site. And it's, it's not a commercial venture is between the State Department of Transportation and the City Department of Transportation Services. And we're going to make it better. Their Ed Sniffen is working on making it a better program. People have the ability to be informed. They don't have to go out and then get stuck and say, why am I here? They'll know ahead of time if they use these resources. So we really want to promote that. And we appreciate when you cover these incidents in the news, in the paper, it really helps us. So thank you.